23 weeks, 46 episodes of the Harvey Hour, culminating into this uh, final one where we talk about our picks. Our final pick of the entire NFL season is coming down to this. We're talking about the Super Bowl. Chiefs, Eagles, the first number one seeds to, to face off each other uh, since, I believe, 2017, Patriots and Eagles. Oh, it's coming right down to this. Jalen Hurts, Patrick Mahomes, Mahomes shooting for his second ring, Jalen Hurts hoping for his first. I think it's time to make our picks. Okay, well, at the beginning of the season, the very beginning of the season, I said the Chiefs would be in the Super Bowl, and I was right. And now I'm picking them to win. Okay. And I think they will beat them by 24 to 20. Okay. I think that the Eagles have a they have a good all-round team. They don't have much experience. They have very little. I don't know. Have anybody that played in the Super Bowl on their team? Jason Kelsey, I believe, is one of okay. the very, very few, if there are any others <laughs> yeah. besides him. So, to me, the Super Bowl is a very different game compared to uh, any other game you play during the season, the, even any other playoff game, because there's so many delays during the game, right? I mean, they, they have lots of timeouts. Uh, the halftime is basically an hour long while they have all the entertainment going on. And I think that affects players who have not been in it before. And I think it makes them more uptight. They have a harder time being loose, getting into a rhythm. And uh, the Chiefs have been there three out of the last four years, <clears throat> won one of them, and uh, have a very good team this year. I think they have, they've got superstars on offense, uh, Mahomes and, and Kelsey. And on defense, they have Chris Jones. And I think those guys are going to step up and make big plays. Uh, I like the uh, the Chiefs to win. Okay. I am taking what the color of my shirt is, uh, and I'm picking the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles right now, and I'm, and I'm, I'm very nervous about this pick because Jalen Hurts does not look right. He has not looked right uh, the point. entire playoffs. So I'm actually banking on two things to happen. I'm first banking on Mahomes to play like his normal Super Bowl Mahomes self, which has been, dare I say, bad. I'm going to say he's played very bad in the Super Bowl. Because in the Super Bowls, he has two <coughs> touchdowns to four interceptions, does not have a single 300-yard game. Mahomes is averaging over 300 yards for his career. He doesn't have a 300-yard game. Very low completion percentages in both those games. A quarterback rating, he is, his highest was 78.1 of passer rating. Not great against the 49ers. He had a 52.3 against uh, the Buccaneers in that horrible offensive line. They lost 31 to 9, didn't score a single touchdown. Mahomes has not played well in the Super Bowl whatsoever. So I'm hoping. I think that game, though, the offensive line let him down big time. They were terrible. He was under pressure all the time against the Bucs. I know. Yeah. I know, but he, so I think they've got a much better offensive line this time around. Even against the 49ers, he didn't play very well. He, he, I think he had barely over 50% completion percentage. Yeah, but it's a game they won against the 49ers. Uh, right. And, and what was the other? T they've lost two out of three. Who would they, they, they lost they, the box and who else? The box. And that's it. He's been in only two Super Bowls. I thought this was the third. This the is the third. Oh, this is the third. Right. This is the third year. Okay. So, yeah, he's one and one then. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, I think he'll have a good game. Why? What? What? Because what, what? I think the offensive line is better. The, his offensive to, line was good in the in the the Forty Nine ers Chiefs Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, the Forty Nine ers game they did win. Barely. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying barely because they won by eleven, but yeah. he did not have a good game though. Yeah. This is in large part due because because the running game they had over a hundred yards rushing for a Chiefs team that just doesn't happen. 17 carries, 104 yards, and one rushing touchdown. Yeah. And also, you had Jimmy G overthrow Emmanuel Sanders by 15 yards. Yeah, right. So, well, I think the uh, the offensive line is better for the Chiefs. Mm -hmm. They have a decent running game, and uh, they have Travis Kelsey. And I think that will be enough. Well, okay, well, what do you say about the Eagles' passers? They have 70 sacks in the regular season. Third most, in, in, in including the playoffs they have in NFL good defense, history. defense, but they have Mahomes is quite mobile. He's very mobile. What about that foot that everyone's talking about? His high ankle. Yeah, he should be in pretty good shape now. He's had two weeks of rest. 
I'm, I'm, I'm banking on I'm banking on the Eagles to, to do but, that. Uh, you know what? I agree with you. Uh, uh, the Eagles quarterback is uh, Jalen Hurts has uh, not played so well recently, and he's yeah. had an injury too. He had a shoulder injury, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, he his what his stats in the last playoff game? They weren't They're good, good. right? Good. His passing yards are very low. He he wound up running the ball quite a bit when you know he he probably shouldn't have been because he had that shoulder injury. So, I think that the Eagles are going to have a hard time because they don't have the experience in this game. And uh, Jalen Hurts has play, has been playing spotty. You know, he had one good game against the Giants. Well, okay, can I, can I, I can carry you with this. Mahomes in his first Super Bowl didn't have a lot of experience. No, but he the, won by eleven. Yeah. It's going up against a, a tremendous 49ers defense. So it, the, the way you get experience is to play in these types of games. Yeah, well. Mahomes has played in two of them, got obliterated in one of them, and had a, had a really, really good comeback and a failure by Jimmy G. So, I mean, we've seen Jalen Hurts in two playoff games. Their defense has been the answer, essentially, allowing only 14 total points, seven in each of these games. So the Eagles right now, people are saying, oh, yeah, they, they played this team and that team and the other team. They've taken care of these teams. So right now, Mahomes, he's going to be pressured more than he is basically the entire season. But Jalen Hurts, I think he's going to have a really good game because uh, I think I have it here. The, the, I, I forgot to get the graphic up properly, but yeah, okay, here, here we go. So the, the Jalen Hurts, right, is a league high plus 7.4% of his passes over the ex, uh, over expected. Uh, on something called a split safety coverage in the regular season. He averaged 8.5 yards per attempt in this set coverage. <laughs> Mahomes is 8.6, barely beating him. The Chiefs play over uh, basically 60% of their snaps are in this split safety coverage. This is the most since t- the 2018 Texans. 58.1% for the Chiefs, 55.3% for the 2018 Texans. So right now, the way uh, what Jalen Hurts has been throwing very well against has been the type of coverage that the Chiefs the, that the Chiefs use almost sixty percent of the time. So I'm taking Jalen. Hurts. I mean, Jalen Hurts just dink and dunk the entire game and run out. Just keep Mahomes off the field. That's all you got to do. Run the ball. They they are the number. One, I think they're well up there. I have it right here. They are the number five rushing team in the NFL this season. So you, you put that up against a Chiefs defense that, albeit, has a pretty good rush defense at eighth, but that's because no, no, no one runs it against them. Literally, zero people run it against them usually. They, they pass it against them, and that's where the Chiefs defense is 30th in attempts, so they throw it a lot, and are 18th in yards given up. They have the 11th total defense. So I'm, I'm taking the Eagles here. The Eagles right now have the, the third total offense and second total defense compared to the Chiefs' first total offense and 11th total defense. So I think right we got to see a smarter Jalen Hurts where he decides his deep ball to the right side has not been there whatsoever. I'm a little bit nervous about his shoulder, but I think you hand the ball off, you get a run game going, do exactly what the commanders did to you. Run the ball 47 times. That's what you got to do. Keep Mahomes off the field. Uh huh. Minimize, and also, for some reason, no one has decided to do this. Travis Kelsey runs the same damn route every single play, it seems. His stupid little goes up about six, seven yards, turns around, catches it, and no one's around him for four or five yards. For whatever reason, and then he gets like eight yards after the catch. Yeah. Man him. Someone man him. Don't put a don't put a corner there. Put a put a fast line back. You know what? Put a son. I don't know. I don't I don't have Hassan Reddick's coverage uh ranking here, but Put him in coverage. He's a really good pass rusher, though, so I don't know if you would do that. Put one of your great linebackers in there. Put him in, in coverage against Travis Kelsey. Man him up. Because well, it's going to be short routes. Travis Kelsey is a tight end. He doesn't go deep. The deep ball has not been the Chiefs' forte this entire season. They, they are a big yards. Actually, the Chiefs' offense, since Mahomes got there, has been a tremendous yards after the catch team. And so what I'm saying is play tighter coverage. Because it, it just seems like as soon as the play breaks down, that's when Mahomes is the greatest. Because the play breaks down, someone gets open for a 20, uh, 25, 30-yard game. For whatever reason, that's always what happens. Contain Mahomes, Hassan Reddick. It's going to be the same thing uh, with the Chiefs against the Bengals. Hassan Reddick needs to be the Chris Jones in that game. Have the game of his life. 
I think I think Hassan Reddick had like what I think I want to say 15 sacks this year. He's going to need two or three in this game to make a serious impact. And the offensive line for the Eagles has been great. Top three, if not number one. I'm betting the Eagles turn the ball over at least twice. What about Mahomes? It has to, he, he's throwing two interceptions in each Super Bowl. Yeah. Well, I'm hoping he won't turn it over. But I think that Hurts will turn the ball over. I'm, 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 so you're saying he turns the ball over twice? I think the Eagles' offense will turn the ball over twice, and I think Hurts will turn it over at least once. Jalen Hurts, over, under, we're, gonna, we're, we're prop betting right now, over, under, t- 240 and a half yards, over, under. Under. Ooh, Mahomes, 295 and a half, over, under. Over. Things over 300 yards? He hasn't thrown over. The, the most he's thrown was, I think. This that, is his game. He's going to do it this time. He's doing 280 to 86 against the 49ers and 270 against Tampa. You're saying he's going yeah, over. It's not that far off. 30 yards. Passing right. touchdowns. He hasn't. Uh, <clears throat> Mahomes hasn't thrown more than two touchdowns in a Super Bowl yet. Over or under two and a half? Uh, I think he's over. You think he's over? Okay. And same thing for Jalen Hurts, except it's one and a half. Jalen Hurts has had a tough time scoring. I think he's under. Okay, what about uh, rushing yards? <laughs> this is an easy prop bet. Boston Scott there running back two or three. Over under five and a half yards. I, th- I think that's an over for me. Th- this, this is going to be interesting. Five and a half yards five, for the whole game? For the entire game, yeah. Five, I, think, yeah I, think I think he'll get vote that. Vote that for the over. And this one's going to be the interesting one that I think is going to be very, very important. Pacheco for the Chiefs. Over under fifty and a half. Over. They're gonna need to run the ball well. Yeah. That's gonna be that's gonna be a huge key that in this is a game. Key. And then you know there's receptions that I don't really care about reading. So I think a key is gonna be you gotta protect Mahomes. You also have to run the ball decently well because the Chiefs have not run the ball very well. And then they run the ball well in the playoffs. So not not this last game against the Bengals. They had a couple. Of I thought runs. Pacheco had a pretty good game. He had like twenty seven. I think he averaged two point seven yards yeah. a carry. And it was like one of those games, one of the playoff games, he had a good game. I don't, I don't think the, the Chiefs have not been able to run the ball very well. Um, but I think they're going to need to run the ball well enough to at least help out Mahomes in, in some way. So it, it's going to be an interesting game. I'm picking the Eagles here. Jalen Hurts gets that get, gets his first ring, puts some respect on his name, and Mahomes goes down in yeah. a pit of fire, uh, once again losing his second Super Bowl. Wow. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, I'll be looking forward to it. I got my red uh, on. I'm rooting for the Chiefs. I'm, I'm going to raise the ante here. I'm going to raise the ante. Oh, yeah. If the Eagles win, I'm dr- I'm dressing in what they would call Sunday's finest clothing, except it'll be on a Monday. I'm coming in dressed very, very high and mighty for that for for, for Monday's show. Oh, good for you. I'm going to dress up in a in a, in a, in a nice suit to, to commemorate a tremendous victory for not my Philadelphia Eagles, but for one day, my Philadelphia Eagles, because... You know, for Patriots fans, this this is just who who cares? This is just you know, dart in a dark room and just throw it to see what sticks. Yeah, because Patriots well, fans I'm not hate feeling the Chiefs much and hate pressure. The not feeling the pressure like I would if the Patriots were in. Well, the game. obviously, obviously, yeah. last year though, to I was me, a lot be of pressure, just though. fun to watch. You know, uh, whatever team I'm rooting for the Chiefs. If they don't win, it won't be. I won't be throwing things or being upset or anything. <laughs> last year though, I was feeling some pressure in that. Uh, the the Bengals Rams Super Bowl because I was after the wild card I was hitting on all cylinders I think I picked every correct game be uh, from the wild or from the the divisional game on so I was in a lot of pressure to go what was what would that be like? are we tied in playoff wins and losses here for I this believe we're, I believe we're, I don't have my so it's this game card this game me. turns it uh, is the deciding factor for us basically yeah yeah so it's gonna be very very interesting to see what exactly happens. I got the, the, the Eagles 28-24. You got Chiefs 24-20. So Go Chiefs. You're picking the under on the points. Well, I believe it's 50 and a half. I'm going with the over. Yeah, I think the defenses are too good to get the over. <sighs> I, I just feel like, you know what? They'll slip up. There'll be a couple weird touchdowns. And like I said, I called it. At the end of the game, there'll be a penalty that that that, that makes the Chiefs win. That's what happened in that last game. So <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm going to hopefully hit on all cylinders for this game. 